OK, let's get some reaction to that heartbreaking World Cup defeat for Wales, losing 2-0 to Iran earlier today. Let's hear now from the Wales manager, Rob Page. Hi, Rob. Um, how do you go about lifting the players, obviously, yeah, on the floor? Well, we've got, we've got to get on with it. We can't uh, we can't sit and cry about it. We've got an opportunity to go and put it right. Thankfully, the game's just around the corner, so we can um, we can go back out. We want to, like I said, give give our supporters something to, to cheer about, and uh, they've shown massive commitment to come over, and and that really disappoints me as well that we've you know given that performance for them today. So um, yeah, we'll 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 bounce back. We'll pick them up, and uh, we'll go again. Any more questions? The gentleman in the back. Hello. You have played against the United States and Iran, not as a coach, just as a football fan. You prefer which team goes up from this group? Um, look, I was really impressed with, with Iran today. I thought you can't, every time you, you broke and, and went, Iran went forward, they, um, they looked a threat. They did. Um, USA have, are really athletic in the middle of the park, so um, I think USA might just, might just have the edge on it. Hi, Rob. Uh, hi, Rob. Can you hear me? Um, yep. Just in terms of Tuesday, is it maybe a chance to bring some changes, give a few other younger players a go? Because like some of those that you said didn't show up today, they've played two games now. It's going to be a tough ask for them to go again in four days' time. Yeah, that's the problem we always have, isn't it? You know, ask players that are not playing at the club to come and, and give performance after performance like that. So we are going to have to look at it. Of course we are. And, and if necessary, we'll have to make the changes to freshen up. We'll do two last questions here and then here. Hello. Hi. Catherine Tudos, a Romanian soccer. So you talked about having been impressed by the Iran team, about uh, them uh, deserving to win. But how much uh, do you think it counted the uh, goalkeeper being sent off? Do you think that they would have uh, won? Uh, do you think that the goalkeeper would have had some other uh, solutions in, uh, in that moment than to make the fool that got to be sent off? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure they would have gone on to win with a two goal difference, if I'm being honest, before the sending off, but before the sending off, I wasn't happy with the performance anyway. You know, uh, Iran showed that they, they were a threat on the counter-attack. Um, you know, they've hit the post, they've hit the bar, they've had a goal disallowed for offside, which was marginal. So they posed a constant threat. Um, we just could not get going in the game, and that, that really disappoints me the most. One last question here. Sorry. How do, you, how do you go about explaining so many players being so off it, Rob? And is this as low as you've, you've felt in football management? Yeah, yeah this is, uh, this is a, a hard one to take, yeah, because of the stage we're on. I, you know, I've said to them before every game, go out, show the world what you show us every day. And that is not a true reflection of that team. You know, they, they got their rewards today. They deserve that defeat. Um, and that's not like them. And that's what disappoints me the most. So um, nothing particular that's that's happened that, that makes them play like that but um no look we'll we'll go again and we'll we'll have a team ready to play England